When it comes to making electronic devices, the first thing you're probably going to do is draw some schematics. After that, you're probably going to move on to a solderless breadboard. Once you've gotten your prototype to work, you're probably going to construct it on some protoboard. But what if you want a cleaner look? Something you can make a lot of copies of, and can be reproduced quite easily. Well, this is when you're going to want to make a printed circuit board. In order to start etching your own circuit boards, you're going to need to start out with some copper cladding, some overhead transparency sheets, and a laser printer. First, find a PCB layout that you'd like to etch. This can be from the internet, drawn in your favorite CAD software, or even doodled in MS Paint. Next, print out your design. Usually beforehand, I'll print out the PCB on paper, just to make sure it's scaled to size and all the components fit. Next, find an iron. This, this isn't my iron, I don't, I don't own an iron. Now, plug it in. While the iron is heating up, stick the board down to a table. I'd recommend using masking tape since it won't leave much of a residue afterwards. If you'd like the board to be a little cleaner, you can use some steel wool and some isopropyl alcohol. Now, leave the iron on the copper clad board for about three minutes. This will ensure that the overhead transparency sheet will stick to the copper clad board. Put the transparency on the copper clad board toner side down. Next, place a piece of paper on top of the overhead transparency sheet and begin ironing. Be sure to move the iron all around the board to ensure that the heat spreads evenly. Now, after about five minutes, you can stop ironing and peel the transparency from the board. The image you printed out should be mirrored onto the copper clad board when you're done. In the event that some of the toner didn't transfer, just use a sharpie to color in the gaps once the board's cool. Now, if you don't have access to a laser printer or transparency sheets, you can simply draw your PCB design right on the board with permanent marker. It might not look great, but at least it's something to start out with. If you want to trim your board, do so right about now. You can save the leftover copper pieces for future projects. And now it should be ready to etch. Now just toss the board in your Cooper Chloride solution and... Here's how to make Cooper Chloride. Hello, and welcome back to Chemistry with John. Today we'll be marinating our PCBs in a zesty sauce of Cooper Chloride. Now, Cooper Chloride consists of a 2 to 1 ratio of hydrogen peroxide to hydrochloric acid. You can find hydrochloric acid under the name muriatic acid at most home improvement or pool maintenance stores. Now, all you have to do is pour a solution of two parts hydrogen peroxide to one part hydrochloric acid into a non-metal container. Your solution should start to turn green over subsequent use. If the solution begins to turn a dark green and takes hours to etch your boards, just add more hydrogen peroxide and occasionally more hydrochloric acid. When you're finished, the solution can be stored for future use or recycled at your local waste or hazmat treatment center. So, now that you've made your etching solution, pour it into a plastic container with your board. If this is a brand new batch of solution, the board should only take a few minutes to etch. Periodically check your board throughout the etching process. Over time you'll begin to see the Cooper Chloride eating away at the copper coating. Once there's no more copper visibly left on the board, it's time to take your board out. You can use a wet paper towel to clean off any Cooper Chloride residue left on the board. Now remove the toner and or permanent marker with acetone. You should be left with copper traces on your PCB. The last things you'll need are a rotary tool or drill press, and some PCB drill bits. Now, populate your board. Now once your board is finished, show it to your friends, show it to your dog, plug it in, throw it in the trash, make a video about it, and put it on the internet. 